Hey, this is Father George Corrigan with a few Sunday thoughts for the fourth Sunday of Easter. You know, certainly the gospel today is one of the familiar gospels. Uh, some people call it Good Shepherd Sunday. Uh, there's certainly the reference between uh, this and next Sunday uh, to Jesus being the Good Shepherd. But I would simply draw your attention to the very last line of the gospel, that I have come that you may have abundant life. Abundant life. I'll tell you a story. In Kenya, one of the biggest tribes there, the Kikuyu tribe, uh, there was a chief of the Kikuyu tribe that an Englishman who was up in the Molo Valley, and he's looking around and go, wow, this place is absolutely beautiful. Look at this river. Oh, my gosh. Trees, farm, grasslands. It's for, and there's this, there's this chief he comes across. And he says, well, chief, how are you? And the chief is there fishing. And he goes, uh, are the fish biting? He goes, uh, yeah, yeah, they're biting. They keep waking me up. Um, uh, it's a good day to fish. How are you, sir? And they begin to talk, and the Englishman says, gosh, you know, this, this river's brimming with fish. You know, you could have a fishery here. And then he goes on to describe, you know, you could build a fishery. You can employ so many of your people that are poor. They would have a much better life. And your sons and your daughters could be educated overseas in Oxford and Cambridge. You could have a, a trucking company to ship the fish to Nakuru, Nairobi, maybe even Mombasa. Uh, for the fresh water. I mean, it just described this co course of life that would help his tribe, help his people, help his family, and would just build up this wonderful thing. And, and this abundant life he described as things you could claim and earn and do. And the chief listened patiently, and you know, kept, well, then what? And then what? And the Englishman, the, the vision kept getting bigger. And finally says, and, and then the Englishman says, and then you can retire. And, you know, having led an abundant life and, you know, well-earned. And he said, well, what would I do when I retire? Uh, you could go fishing? You know, point of the story is, do we recognize the abundant life when we, it's right in front of us when we have it? You know, certainly you go to the bookstore, lots of self-help books that will tell you about it. Uh, you go to some Christian churches of the name and claim it variety. You know, this prosperity is all connected with faith. Uh, not something we Catholics ascribe to, the kind of name and englement theology. I mean, we look at the, the second reading. Uh, it says, you know, it's a life of patience, and sometimes you suffer. But when you suffer, you suffer with Christ, and it's a life full of grace, a life of full of that abundance of grace. And that's a good thing. But the gospel always talks about the blessings. The blessings that start... You know, as Paul says, don't you know that you who are baptized are raised to the newness of life? This newness of life in the faith we practice, the life we live, the sacraments we celebrate, the sacraments whose grace, you know, is the, the catalyst that gives us faith, love, hope, wisdom, understanding, judgment, courage, knowledge, and reverence, those gifts of the Holy Spirit. To say that is, you know, who we are. We are people that live these things out. And to come to the understanding, it's not, the abundant life isn't what we have or what we can claim. It's what we're given, what we're given from Christ and its gift. And it's just all gift. When we can recognize that in ourselves, then we truly are living the abundant life. It is a life if you find yourself grateful for the life you have, then you are at the precipice of truly living and expanding the abundant life. You know, St. Bonaventure says that while humility is the guardian and the gateway of all the other virtues, gratitude is the first indication of the well-lived well life, life, that abundant life. So take an inventory for what are you grateful and then you'll begin to understand the giftedness of, from God, and you're at the threshold of acknowledging this is an abundant life. Amen.